Hi there, my name is Aiden Chopra, and this video deals with mapping an image to a cylinder. Basically wrapping a photograph or something like that around a cylindrical object in SketchUp. Okay, the thing you have to keep in mind about this technique is that it only works for cylinders that you make uh, the way that I'm making this cylinder right now. So I used the circle tool and I drew a circle. Now I'm going to use the push-pull tool and just pull that circle up into a cylinder. So for other kinds of cylinders that you may end up with in SketchUp, maybe by grabbing something from the 3D warehouse or using the follow me tool to sweep maybe a rectangle around a circle to get a cylinder, this technique won't work. But for cylinders made in this way, basically with a circle uh, extruded with the push-pull tool into a cylinder, this will work just fine. Okay, so we've got a cylinder. What I'm going to do now is use the select tool and just select the side of the cylinder. And then I'm going to go up to the File menu and choose Import. And I'm going to choose the image that I want to use. In this case, it's a label for a fictional fruit drink uh, that I made in Photoshop. And here, you're going to see three choices. Use as image, use as texture, and use for photo match. Very important that in this case you choose Use as Texture, just like that. Okay. So I'm going to choose Use as Texture, and I'm going to say Import. And what it's going to do is it's going to load my cursor with that image. And you'll see that it's going to, it never wraps by itself in SketchUp. It's kind of always this big flag looking thing. What I'm going to do is just kind of go ahead and stick it on the bottom edge of my cylinder. And then I'm going to kind of just bring this thing up and I'm going to stick it to the top edge of my cylinder right here. Okay. And I'm going to click. And you'll see that actually something rather disturbing happens. I only get the photo that I brought in along one little strip of the cylinder. And if I turn on hidden geometry, you'll see what's going on. Basically, a cylinder is really just uh, a polygon because SketchUp doesn't make circles. It's really just a 24-sided circle extruded into this extruded polygon. So what these really are are flat rectangles going all the way around this the cylinder, just like that. Okay. So when you map that image to this, it really just maps it to one of these rectangles. That's okay though, because all you have to do is click on the paint bucket tool right up here. Okay. And when you do that, oops, let's do that. Okay. You're going to end up with the photograph that you brought in um, with that import here in your in model library. Now, if you can't see your in model library in your materials dialog box, click on this little house here. So let's say you're somewhere, um, you're going to want to click on the little icon that looks like a house and it'll show you all the materials that you're currently using in your model. One of those is going to look like the image that you just imported um, in the last step. Okay, So all you have to do is click on that image and then you've got your paint bucket and it's basically loaded with that image. Now just click on your cylinder. Okay, And when you do that, I'm just going to minimize my materials dialog box here. What I've got is a cylinder with that image wrapped all the way around it.